Okay guys, here's why movie stars never hit legs and why you maybe shouldn't either. Okay, okay guys, take it easy. I'm just kidding, you should train legs, but there is a little secret of why maybe you shouldn't prioritize them as much and that's what movie stars do and I'm gonna break it down but firstly welcome back to the channel Daniel Allen back here with another video I make videos about fitness fashion lifestyle also follow the Instagram Daniel Allen underscore for the same type of content now we're posting here a couple times a week but this video it might be a decisive one but I really wanted to talk about this because if you study it it makes a lot of sense and starting off this video, I want to say, I want to put in something that was said by Kino Body, who is kind of like an expert in movie star bodies. Like, that's his whole spiel. Like, that's what he talks about. So, this is him talking about it right now. Focusing heavily on squats and deadlifts is actually bull****. If you're a natural lifter, it's very, very hard to, in the same week, build up your squat, your deadlift, and also get stronger on the key exercises like the incline press and shoulder press that make your physique look powerful. I put most of my focus on incline presses, heavy shoulder presses, weighted chins, and I'll do a bit later for the legs. Bulgarian split squats, remaining deadlifts. I used to do the heavy squats and deadlifts. I got bulkier legs. My appetite was bigger, so I got a bit bulkier. I, had, I was less lean, and my bench was stuck. What's more, you don't want to have huge huge, huge, massive tree trunk thighs. You don't want that. Um, rather, it's better to have the perfect amount of leg mass um, because that way, you know, your body looks better in proportion. If your legs are overdeveloped, it's really easy to add a ton of size to your legs with squats and deadlifts. If your legs are overdeveloped, people's eyes are going to be drawn down to your legs and it's going to ruin your upper body aesthetics because it's all about a matter of proportion. If your legs are huge, everything else will look smaller. Um, that's why if you look at Hollywood actors, they end up building a great amount of size on their upper body and they keep their legs balanced. It also allows you to wear slim pants so um, you can be more stylish, you have that GQ look. You do a ton of leg training, um, especially when you already have enough muscle there. You're actually gonna de detract from your upper body growth. So I think that makes pretty good sense. For a movie star, his goal is to look the best on screen. And when you're looking the best, what you're doing is you're mo he's mo movie stars most likely wearing jeans but their shirt is off that is the main point and if you actually look at a lot of movie stars their legs are small or just athletic like no one really has big legs that's a movie star and there's a couple of reasons why first up they have to prioritize building muscle in a short time so they don't have a lot of time to get ready for roles sometimes it's only six months maybe a year usually not that much time and they got to maximize building muscle yes they're probably using performing enhancing drugs who wouldn't if they're getting paid millions of dollars but still they are on a time crunch what does that mean they got to prioritize building muscle in the right places which usually ends up being shoulders chest back arms which are the muscles that are going to be seen on a movie screen now let's break it down this way to make it simple say you're you have a year to get ready okay in a year you can maximum if you're a newbie whatever say you can only build 10 pounds of muscle and that's pushing it really you can probably build less if you're more advanced or whatever so say you have one year and you can build 10 pounds of muscle and i know you're like oh no i can put on more weight bitch no you can't you cannot put on more weight you're gonna put on fat for muscle wise there's only a certain amount you can only gain one to two pounds of muscle a month maximum and that's scientific jeff nipper says it like you are not going to build more muscle even if you're using performance enhancing drugs you're probably going to build maybe three that's it so that's 15 pounds of muscle okay now say you train your full body you're on a push pull leg split upper lower split whatever that you put on seven five seven pounds on your upper body five seven pounds on your lower body okay or you can train legs less put on maybe three four pounds on your leg and put on like 10 pounds on your upper body that extra three four pounds is gonna make a world of a difference and they're gonna look better on screen 
Makes sense, doesn't it? Why movie stars might not train legs? Because their sole purpose is to look good on screen. The more muscle they have on their upper body, the more better they're going to look on screen. So that's why movie stars don't train legs. Is because they want to prioritize building the most muscle on their upper body. Now, long term, you should be training legs, focusing on growth and whatnot. But upper body tends to take over when it comes to on-screen presence. That doesn't mean you shouldn't train legs at all. Because I do train legs, but genetically, my legs are just a bit more lacking. Especially because I have a small waist and it makes my legs small, look smaller. But you should definitely train legs because you don't want to have chicken legs. Athletic looking legs are important. Second reason, building your legs actually boosts your testosterone. So it's going to make your upper body gains better. And everything just works better. So you just got to hit legs for overall health. And there's, there's a couple exercises that I think everyone should focus on. And Kino Body says the same in a bunch of other Bulgarian split squats because I find they're better, they're harder, and they transfer better over and they're safer than squats. I do some hip thrusts to build up that booty. And then third, some type of machine leg press is always a good idea, leg extension, hamstring curls. Just add that in, do it once a week. One, like, do one exercise where you're hitting legs in a big way by doing squats, hip thrusts, stuff like that. And the second day where you're just doing leg extension, leg curls, just building more so athleticism and putting some extra volume. And I would also mix in some type of upper body workout with the lower body workout. So you do your five leg exercises or whatever. And at the end, you do shrugs or side raises because it just helps bring your upper body up when you're hitting legs and you're not going to be taking away from legs so that's my spiel on why movie stars don't hit legs and maybe you should think about hitting legs but hitting them less i'm not saying skip leg day i am not saying that please stop commenting that i'm just saying it might there might be some reasons why movie stars skip legs and I think it makes pre a pretty good sense if you think about it. Okay, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned something. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Send me a super while you're at it. If you want, join my membership club. Follow the Instagram, Daniel Alam underscore, making videos about fitness, fashion, lifestyle. Posting videos like every other day, shorts every day. So I will see you guys in the next one.